How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to first open water like pup and flies type stuff. Uh, we're out here fishing for walleyes. I'm out here with my good friend uh, Dao, Vang, and my brother Danny. He's down there. It is that time of the year where it's complex yet fun, okay? And I'm gonna teach you guys how to tie this uh, fly here real quick. So it's a beautiful morning. It's not too windy. The water is still kind of low for this condition. Normally it will flood like all the way to the bank here and we will like be fishing right by the fence but yeah it should be deeper than this. What? You got one? Okay so I'm gonna walk you guys through this uh, tie here. I know a lot of you guys been asking and hopefully I can fulfill that uh, dream for you guys. Um, I don't know if the lighting is gonna be any good to show you guys these micro stuff. There's a spider right on my lens here look. You guys can see it. Easy guys. So what I'm using, that right there is a swivel, okay? I mean, you guys can't see it, but... Hey man, don't make fun of me. It's not gonna focus on this tiny swivel. Uh, there it goes, right there. So that's what it is, it's a three-way or two-way swivel. I'll show you guys how to tie this. All right, so we're gonna start off with braid. You guys probably can't see this either. <laughs> this is a six pound test Daiwa, the eight times. J braid. So what I like to do is I like to go with the polymer knot. There's tons of source out there of how to tie the polymer knot. It's really easy, really strong, especially for braid. Um, all right, swivel. Nice little loop there. Tuck that in. All right, here you go. So that's the easy part. Maybe I should stand up. That way I can like use my shirt as a background so you guys can see. Oh yeah, much better. There you go. That's a three-way swivel, a two-way swivel actually. All right. Now, depending on your preference, you can use six-pound test or eight-pound test. It doesn't really matter, honestly. I like six pounds, so let me grab that. I like six-pound test. I use P-line, Seaguar, whatever. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Let me stand up so you guys can see. So, you guys are wondering how long should you guys make the, the leader, right? Um, I say the length of your rod. Right now I'm using seven, the seven footer. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick, do a little fisherman knot. Again, if you don't know how to tie the knot, you should like learn how to tie the, like a, a specific knot first, right? like the knot that you prefer. Okay, uh, there. Again, seven foot rod, you wanna make it the length. So I apologize if it doesn't focus. We are in a little dim light here. So what I do, I like to reel all the way to the top of my tip here. Okay, so this is swivel. This is my tip, tip of the rod. Reel all the way to the top. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this down real quick. Oh jeez, freak! <laughs> they flew right over me. <laughs> yeah, they're right on top of me, bro. Oh god. All right, here we go. So again, I'm using my little hand tie fly here. I didn't tie too much yet. It's still early in the season. But I like to use red and purple. Uh, those are just my go-to color. So we're gonna put that on. I got one purple, so let's, oh, actually I have two. So let's hope that's the key here. I'm gonna tie this up real quick. Put this red one on. go again polymer knot that up right there okay so that's the first fly all right these are all tied by me hand tie fly uh, so now we got the first fly down and we're gonna go with our second one now this is the complex part okay this part right here I can guarantee you that it's very confusing uh, me I like to tie double uh, Alberto knot that's what it's called I think is I go to the half point here, I make at least like two to three feet a liter here. And I wrap that Alberto knot first, okay? It's like I said, it's very confusing. Maybe I can do a better uh, micro shot of how I do this. And I can guarantee it's, it's not clear. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. I'm gonna go one way, cinch that down, and then I'm gonna take my 
scissor here. I'm gonna cut. It's only gonna be a foot, so I don't gotta worry about that too much. It's gonna be like right here. Now I'm gonna take my main line and wrap it around the dummy line, I guess you could call it. Okay? And that's why I tied this fly on here so I can tell which one is which. So here it is. I pinched that there. It's impossible to see because I'm using six pound tests. Alright, I'm wrapping it around. And this is just my way of doing it. There's many, many ways out there. You could just tie a knot basically, like a freshman knot together. Because this is just how I do it. Take the fly through the hole here. Okay, cinch it. And then what, what happens is that when you pull the dummy and the um, main line, they're going to cinch together. Boom. There they are. This knot is really strong too. So you got to worry about this thing coming off and you catch a fish. I've never had, like, had that happen to me, so I'm not worried about it. So let me see if I let's see if you guys can see this. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's real micro. I apologize, you can't can see it, but it's basically two knots cinched together and they lock. That's what it is right there. Okay, so we got our main line and then we got their main fly right here. Okay, and we want them to be. You can do it a foot apart if like it's very feeding frenzy, but during this cold time of the year, I like to keep them like pretty close together. I say around nine ten inches apart if i could keep it close like maybe even like seven or five i'll try to do that too but um i try to keep them in pair basically do you need two flies not really you can uh just do one honestly it's just that we just like two for profile purpose just gives a fish something to look at you know all right so geez this line is wrapped around my head okay here it goes so you guys see here, the flies, they're not far apart. They're, again, like I said, maybe, well, well this time it looks like it's a foot. You guys can see it, but it's from here to here. So it's not far apart at all. And that's what you want. So the next step here is to put the leader and the sinker, okay? Let me just, again, just tie a fisherman knot here, nothing fancy. Uh, the length of the leader, uh, you want to make it at least um, I didn't even grab a sinker. This is what it is right here. Okay, a pencil sinker. Get a good look. Has a swivel on top. You find these at the bait shop. Just why every single one of them sell it. Again, regular knot. All right, here we go. This is the finished product. So. Again, recap, all right? You got your main line, six to eight pound braid, the swivel, okay? You see it, that's the swivel. And you wanna tie your sinker last because you don't want it to like, you know, get all wrapped up and stuff. This is actually too long, I'll fix it, but I'll just show you guys real quick. All right, we got the sinker, boom. And then we have the seven foot leader, all right? A dummy fly, not really a dummy fly, but dummy line to a fly to a red fly. And you want them, again, maybe a foot or less apart. You want to give them a profile of like two bait fish chasing each other or a fly flying together or whatever, swimming together. And yeah, that is how you do it. Only took me two hours. And learning how to cast this is a pain in the butt. It takes a lot of practice. It's kind of like baseball. If you don't know how to swing your bat, you'll never hit the ball, okay? And there's a certain way of like casting this. Um, there's a motion, there's a, what do you call it, like a momentum that you have to follow every time you do it. And it's all muscle memory. Because if you don't do it right, you're either gonna snap your line off, snap your fly, or you're just gonna get tangled up when you make that cast. So hopefully I can like perform that for you guys here. Show you guys how to cast this. I gotta take stuff out of my pockets. I don't look fat. There we go. You need to cure woman. All right. Now a lot of mistakes that people do, they go like this. They wait at the bottom like that. <laughs> don't ever do that, guys. Literally, just practice doing this. If you guys want to practice, practice with like no fly at all, basically. Just, uh, 
Just cast the sinker out there. Just swing it, okay? Do it up here. You're gonna make one motion. One big U shape. That's how you cast far, okay? That's like the basic cast. And it's gone. Boom. More than halfway across. From here on, you just got jig, fill the bottom. Use a sensitive rod. And just count your touch, you know. Just tap the bottom, pause it. When you feel a drop, let it sit in there. You guys know the drill. That's how you pump flies.